Well, no verdict in day one of deliberations in Jennifer Crumbly's trial. The jury had two questions for the judge today. One about the judge's instructions. The other was about evidence. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez is on your block in Pontiac outside Oakland County Circuit Court with more. So they have wrapped up for the day. They were at it for almost seven hours today. During that time, the judge calling them back into the courtroom once so she could answer one of the questions they had in person. That question pertaining to evidence, whether they could try to fill in the blanks as to why the shooter himself didn't testify. They wanted to know more about how he obtained that murder weapon. The judge told them they couldn't speculate and had to stick to the exhibits and sworn testimonies introduced earlier. The six men and six women wanted some clarification surrounding the two theories the prosecution presented over involuntary manslaughter. They wanted to know if they needed to agree on both theories or just one. And so to recap, one of those theories is that Jennifer Crumbly had the legal duty as a parent to control her child and stop him from hurting others. The second theory alleges that Crumbly was grossly negligent over the way the gun and ammo were stored, which allowed him to have access to it and carry out mass murder. Ultimately, the court decided they can use either theory for a conviction. The day began with Judge Cheryl Matthew spending about 40 minutes giving the jury instructions. In order to find the defendant was grossly negligent, you must find each of the following three things beyond a reasonable doubt. First, that the defendant knew of the danger to another, that if she knew there was a situation that required her to take ordinary care to avoid injuring someone. Second, that the defendant could have avoided injuring another by using ordinary care. Third, that the defendant failed to use ordinary care to prevent injuring another when, to a reasonable person, it must have been apparent that the result was likely to be serious injury. Now, once a verdict is reached, there is still a gag order in place, so we won't hear from the defense or the prosecution. That is until James Crumbly, the husband of Jennifer, goes to trial in March. Reporting in Pontiac, Honor Scudier, CBS News, Detroit.